Hi, folks. Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And uh, this afternoon we're going to talk about cleaning these uh, things, these earbuds with the in-ear nozzles that are kind of long. One of the things that happens with these is those nozzles act as wax scoops and they fill up. And it gets back on the speaker and your sound quality can go down quite considerably. Or even the flat ones can get ear wax on them. And how to clean them is incredibly simple. Uh, I'll explain that all after the intro. We're going to skip the ads. Just make sure to check out all our links in the description below for all the stuff we've used and talked about here. And uh, let's go to the intro. All right, I'm back, uh, and we're here, and uh, now we're going to go over how to clean those earbuds, uh, especially the ones with the, you know, long nozzles. These are the Electro D10s, but I don't care what you own, they're all the same. Uh, first thing, take the ear tips off, both of them. Throw them in some warm water with soap in it, or hot water. Hot water won't hurt them, they're made of silk and rubber, they're not going to explode or die. Um, you know, I mean, do not throw them in with, like, pine salt or ammonia cleaners. Just don't. If it's good enough for ducks, it's good enough for your ear tips. And then grab some Q-tips. That's one of the two supplies you're going to need to do this. You can get these at Dollar General for, you know, virtually nothing. And uh, at that point, you'll be good to go. Really good to go. And uh, I'm just staring down into this one. I cleaned it the other day, and it's already full of earwax. These things act like earwax scoops every time you stuff them in your ear. And it keeps getting pushed back, and eventually ends up in the speaker. But it's still blocking the tube, and it's ruining your sound. And not enough reviewers talk about this, because, you know, they're going from one to the next to the next to the next. And they don't wear these long enough to... You know, notice the degradation in sound. So, now, cleaning the tube. Well, the cleaning fluid of choice. The only cleaning fluid, the only safe one. Rubbing alcohol. Now, in, in a lot of cases, when you buy rubbing alcohol, you know, it'll say it's 70% alcohol. That means it's 30% water. It's like, oh, water. Alcohol is hydroscopic. In other words, alcohol molecules latch onto water and it can't get away from it. And when the alcohol evaporates, so does the water. And alcohol will evaporate very rapidly. Hold it like this. Put your well-soaked Q-tip in there and, you know, kind of twist it around and in both directions and then pull it out and then dip the other side and put it in there again and do that and pull it out and toss the Q-tip. It should be pretty damn clean inside. It's good. And you might want to tap it on your desk to get anything it kind of dissolved mostly to come out. And when that happens, you should be pretty darn good to go. Real darn good to go. And your sound will be back. You'll be like, oh, I got my all my bass and all my trebles. Oh, they were sounding terrible. I only had these for three months. Well, guess what? Yeah, they do collect earwax. It depends on the person. I get a lot of earwax, so I have to clean them a little more often. So you can go to Dollar General or one of those kind of stores and get a small bottle of rubbing alcohol and a package of Q-tips. Get some good quality Q-tips so you don't end up with a bunch of cotton sitting inside when you're done. You, know, you don't want that getting caught up in the speaker mesh. Um, and if you soak them enough, you know, that'll kind of hold everything together and help dissolve what's up there. And the reason you do it twice is to get what you didn't get on the first pass. That's all there is to it. So if you found this Interesting, informative, helpful, 
any of those things, give us a like, give us a subscribe, share the video. And if you didn't like this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video. Or, we're, you know, if you absolutely have to and hated the video, give us a thumbs down. Because that works for us, too. You're doing us a favor either way. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. I told you I'd keep it as short as possible. That's all we got for today. Make sure to check out the links in the description below for the two uh, earbuds I'm recommending right now. One that I already have and the other because of the huge charging case. Uh, and, of course, two Bodhi. And, of course, the Unpow Selfie Stick, which we're controlling video recording with. And the Mi A2 that we're using as a phone. Or get the Mi A3 and be really happy. Later, folks. Gotta go.